Welcome to the Getting Started with Anaconda Individual Edition webinar. My name is Albert, and I'm a data science instructor at Anaconda. In this session, I'm going to introduce the Anaconda distribution. I'll show you how to get up and running with Anaconda Navigator and how to manage packages for Conda. One of the challenges that comes with working on a data science project is that there are many open source packages you need to have installed. Here are just a few of the most common packages across five different subsets of the data science ecosystem. Although these packages have components that were written in a number of different languages, they are commonly utilized with the Python programming language. Installing these packages and ensuring that you have compatible versions can be challenging. The Anaconda distribution provides an efficient way to install, upgrade, and run these packages. The Anaconda team has packaged thousands of the most commonly used libraries in Python, R, and other languages. By installing Anaconda Individual Edition on your desktop, more than 200 packages have been pre-installed and ready for use, and you'll be able to easily upgrade and install new packages. To get started, I'll demonstrate Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator is available on Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows, and will be installed when you install Anaconda Individual Edition. You can run Anaconda Navigator on Linux by running anaconda-navigator from the terminal. On Mac OS X, you can find the Anaconda Navigator icon in the Applications directory or in the Launchpad. And finally, on Windows, you can launch Anaconda Navigator from the Start menu under the Anaconda 3 directory. Once Navigator is open, you'll see four tabs on the left, Home, Environments, Learning, and Community. The Home tab provides application tiles to launch a terminal window, Jupyter, and IDEs. For example, I have PyCharm installed, and I can launch it here from Anaconda Navigator. Let's start by exploring the available packages under the Environments tab. Here you'll see the list of over 295 packages that have been installed with the Anaconda Individual Edition. These packages give you a head start on your data science projects. For example, Pandas has already been installed, and so has Scikit-Learn. Let's walk through an example where I'll read CSV data from the web and construct a visualization using pandas in that plot lib. To do this, I'll launch Jupyter Notebook from the Home tab and create a new notebook. Here I've read in the auto MPG data set that contains information on over 400 automobiles made between 1970 and 1982. And with this, I can construct a scatter plot of miles per gallon versus horsepower.
Now that you have Anaconda installed, you'll soon need to upgrade or install new packages. To do this, Anaconda Navigator utilizes the Conda Package Manager. When a package is requested through Conda, it will automatically install all required dependencies and can be used to install packages written in any language. Further, Conda will install pre-built packages on all supported platforms, so you do not need to install any compilers on your system. Conda packages can be installed either from the Anaconda repository, a collection of packages curated and built by Anaconda, Conda Forge, the, the community-driven repository of nearly 10,000 open source packages, or packages uploaded to Anaconda Cloud. Finally, your organization can curate your own packages and host a private Conda package repository with Anaconda Team Edition or Anaconda Enterprise Edition. As you begin to work on multiple data science projects, you'll likely need to keep track of packages and their versions separately. Conda environments provide a convenient way to install and maintain separate collections of packages. You can imagine that each environment is a completely independent installation of Python or R, and you can control all of this from Anaconda Navigator. I'll demonstrate package management with Anaconda Navigator. Within Anaconda Navigator, you can upgrade and install new packages from the environments pane. To add a new package, we'll switch from the installed list to the not installed list. And we see we have access to over 7,000 packages from the Anaconda distribution. I'll search for hvplot and, and install it. see that it installs several dependent packages. To add packages from other channels, like Conda Forge, we can edit the channels list. And here I'll add Conda Forge. you'll see that I now have access to over 13,000 packages. Over time, new versions of packages on the Anaconda distribution have become available. One of them is Anaconda Navigator. And if a new version is available, you can upgrade directly within Anaconda Navigator by clicking the Upgrade Now button. If you wish to keep the entire collection of packages from the Anaconda installer up to date, you could upgrade the Anaconda meta package. For example, I can upgrade to the latest version or an earlier version if I wish. If, however, I wish to upgrade a single package within my base environment, it is best to switch the Anaconda meta package to custom so that I can freely change the packages in the base environment. For example, I'll upgrade to Pandas or version one.
And finally, I'll use the Create button to create whole new environments for packages. I can choose a particular version of Python or R in my new environments. In this case, I'll choose Python 3.8. With this environment, I can install packages and versions independent of the base environment, and I can create as many new environments as I need for my projects. For more information about how to utilize Anaconda in the enterprise, you can visit anaconda.com to learn about Team Edition and Enterprise Edition. And finally, for additional resources on the Anaconda distribution, go to docs.anaconda.com and around the Anaconda community at anaconda.com.